Today we're going to look at some of the options available in the Edit menu in Google Sheets. And to start with, I've taken one of the cells here and I've changed the formatting. I've put in a background color, a border. I've bolded the text and changed its color. So to start with, under Edit you have an Undo and Redo options. So if I click Undo, you can see that the last thing that I did there was to put in the background color of the cell. And if I redo that, um, that formatting is reapplied. Note that those are also available here on the uh, main toolbar. So undo and redo. So typical as you would expect. Okay, there's also a cut, copy, and paste. So cut, as you know, would place this in computer memory, but when I paste it, let's paste it over here. I can, of course, right-click and paste as well. You'll note that the value was removed because that's a that's how cut works. Removes the value. Copy, on the other hand, places it in computer memory, but does not remove it from the original location. And paste, of course, is uh, where you where you want the data to be represented, so where it winds up at the end. Now, more importantly, we have this paste special, and let's take a look at some of that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this cell. Variety of ways to do it, and let me come. Well, let me just come to a new. This is 16. I'll just come here. Under Paste Special, I have the option to paste values only. So even though there's a lot of formatting on there, see if I were to just hit Paste, everything would be identical. I can paste the value only here. So it changed to 16, but it didn't bring the formatting with it. Also, I can paste the format only. So you can see that it picked up the background color, the bold, the font color, and the border but didn't change the value that was inside there. Now, I'm sure you're aware that another way to do that would be to use the Format Painter, and that would also transfer the uh, format only. Okay. Next is to paste all except borders. So if I do that now, it changed the color, it changed all the formatting as I might expect, but what it didn't bring through was the borders. It's kind of a special case scenario there. Okay, this is paste column width only. So let's do this. Let's narrow up teams so that this column is not quite as wide. I'll click anywhere in the column. It doesn't matter. Use any method of copy. It doesn't matter. And now I'm going to select three different cells in three different columns and say column width only, and that brought them to the same width as the uh, column that I had originally selected. So another option. Other options include paste formula only, data validation, conditional formatting, and we'll come to transpose in a second. So in order to do this, let me come down. I made a little formula down here. This is just the average of the things in the column. Now, If I were to drag that over, it would increment and give me the average of the next column. But if perhaps I wanted to move this somewhere that was not adjacent, of course I'd have to copy it, select the cell, paste the formula only, and therefore it updated the formula for the appropriate column without having to drag across a whole series of columns. Now, the, the other choices, da data validation and conditional formatting, we're going to look at adding data validation and conditional formatting in later videos. Just know that this is a way you can copy the characteristics of a particular cell to another. Uh, in short, conditional formatting is going to make one of the cells look different, or some of the cells look different, uh, depending on the values or some other criteria of that cell. So if we're in this column over here, very quickly, um, format conditional formatting, I'm going to say if that cell 
is greater than 100, and I can accept the default value here, or I can just say turn the um, you know, turn it green. And you can see that that happens. Now, if I were to copy that and say these are all going to be greater than 100, so we would expect them all to turn green. Paste special, conditional formatting only, and you see that that happens. Data validation is slightly different. If we were to use uh, data validation, that's um, enforcing, whoop, excuse me, that's just enforcing that the data in a particular cell meets certain criteria, and we'll look at that later. The last feature we're going to look at under paste special is paste transpose. So if I were to select a couple of these values here, the first four, and copy them, let me find an empty space down here. I can actually take them from vertical and drop them in horizontally, which uh, does come in handy, which does come in handy on occasion. And let's undo some of that to keep the data on the clean side. Again, the Format Painter works very well. Okay, other features under Edit are Find and Replace. So um, let's find and replace Italy with Italia. Okay, you have options to match case so that it will only find it if the if the uppercase lowercase of the word matches. Uh, match the entire cell content as opposed to matching a portion. So if the word Italy was anywhere in a cell, um, World Cup Italy, say, um, it would replace that also uh, now. But if we check match entire contents of cell, then it would just look for cells that only contained Italy. Uh, you can choose to search within formulas. There are, some, there are some other features here. So we're going to find, you'll notice that it goes to the first insta instance, and then I can replace it. And I can go through them one at a time to get that done. Or I can simply accept and say replace all. Um, be careful if you use replace all. You have to be very, very sure of your search before you do that, or you really can corrupt your data. Okay, additionally, most of the rest of the um, most of the rest of the options in here have to do with deletion. So, if I were to select seven, eight, and nine. I would get the option to delete those rows. If I were just to be clicked in any cell, I would get this the option to delete either the column or the row. So either row 9 or column A. And these I use less frequently. Normally I find that if I'm going to delete data, it's, it's generally in a row or column, and I use these. But uh, these are just... Uh, options for removing and shifting the data in what direction. So in this case, shift the data up if I delete, and in this case, shift it to the left. Okay, the last feature in there had to do with notes. So if I had uh, in, added a note, so here I'm going to insert a note on that cell. You can see it's marked by the little uh, triangle in the corner. So that will clear the note. That's really all there is to the edit menu. Um, it's very, very useful, but a lot of the features in there uh, act very similar to what you would expect and as they do in other programs.